All right, we're here at Universal Orlando's Horror Makeup Show. The next show is at 6.30. It's a Saturday night. We're going to try to make it to this show, but I want to show you what's inside this beautiful theater. We'll start to our right. Meet the Makers, Universal Horror Makeup Show. Candles here. Look at those candles. And then each Halloween Horror Night starts with an overall theme. And of course, this has been some of the theme part of it. And architect Rick Baker. I think one of my favorite horror movies, American Werewolf in London. And then you've got your Chunky, which is some chocolate there. Interesting way to... And this is Rob Botton. And then the most recent, at least they have in here, is The Mummy, which start our buddy and then some of the stuff they do here which is awesome the mummy the guy that was in Top Gun you remember him and then over here you've got your Spielberg over here you got your Spielberg and then some of the stuff that goes with what he designed Jurassic Park oh god and then there's this Look at that. Oh, look at those teeth. Mr. Your Chunky. Dracula Untold in 2014. The Mummy in 2017. Looks like they stopped there. But just some of the older stuff. Which you'll see here. Psycho. The Phantom of the Opera. Dracula. Halloween 2. Which isn't in the same class, but. Bride of Frankenstein. Creature from the Black Lagoon, Jurassic Park, and Hellboy. So some of the older stuff. I'm going to sit in this chair and just look out. Ah. A show place. This is a theater. Next show, 6:30. So let's we'll see if I can get a front row seat. Makeup. 
All right, the theater. Put your hands together, help me bring to the stage the one, the only, Mr. Mark James Clark. All right, I am so hard to hear the back, so a little bit louder for me. Get Mark James! Sorry, I'm late. I know, no, it's fine. I can see that you're having some issues. Uh, a little bit. But I think I can get out of this. Just need a little help. You need help. Lady, lady. Lady, I need some help. Lady, 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 Thank you, thank you, thank you. I need mouth to mouth. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> I don't, is this part of it that you're sitting back down? Wait, who? Long distance? <laughs> so, uh, you, you, you're just gonna let me die, aren't you? <laughs> what? <laughs> sure. No, of course, of course. No, 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 that's fine. I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm just gonna die. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. I'm just gonna that. die right over here. You what? For your amusement. <laughs> Is her real name? Ah, that's what you called her two seconds ago. Look, <laughs> man, none of this matters to me. I'm worm food. Heartless tourist. Are you dead? Oh, yeah. Mark James, ladies and gentlemen. I can't hold you here. We gonna fight. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what what are you doing? Oh, well, oh, okay. <laughs> Good to see you, man. Uh, uh, hey, everybody. Thanks. Uh, you probably already told everybody uh, by now. My name is Mark James. Yeah. I'm a creature creator, a makeup artist. Yeah. Basically, my job is to gross you out and freak you out and scare the poop out of you. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of people may not realize this, but Universal Studios basically invented the monster movie. Oh, uh, that's true. And I brought along some clips <laughs> to help illustrate Universal's legacy of horror. Now, I want to warn you. I've seen some of these clips. They may not be for the squeamish. If you get a little scared, just cover your eyes, okay? But let your kids watch. Well, anyway, I'll show that. <laughs> Brought the kids. Yeah, really? Yeah, it's behind the curtain. Oh, right? oh let me check this hey, out. What? I know you like to peek. Yeah. No peeking. I just want to. One little. Don't. Break. I'll get Did the spray bottle. I'm sorry. No. <laughs> Do not. Wait, no, please. We'll save it for the end. Okay, okay. Save okay. it for the end. Like, Fine. it's a big finale kind of deal. You're going to yeah. like this. I got another idea for yeah. you. Yeah, what? Go out amongst these lovely people. Okay. And find me someone yeah. that, that no one's going to miss very much. Let's call him a volunteer, shall we? Okay, yeah, sure, okay. I want to go out here and go, folks, hey, for those that want to do this, you can put your hands down. Because people who actually want to do this sort of thing are normally clinically insane, okay? So we're not going for that. No, I, I'm looking for someone that has no idea what this is all about, not whatsoever, okay? Someone that thinks this might be like some sort of Harry Potter thing. And trust me, it's not. That someone that doesn't really pay much attention is not even looking at me and I love you. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's exactly the uh, response. Ow! Now! Yes! Come on down! Let the same place is right. How are you? Good. You won't be for uh, soon. <laughs> no, you'll be fine, okay? How are you? Nice. Step on the trap door. I'm just joking. No, don't look at him, look at me. Why? Hi. I'm right here. I know. I'm Alex. You are? Nancy. Nice to meet you, Nancy. Okay. Yeah, okay. Oh, it was a great <laughs> idea. This is Mark right here. Talk Hello, to you. Nancy. My name's Mark. Nice to meet you. <laughs> no? Oh, come on. Just a little. Just a little. Just a little. Just a little. <laughs> All right, well, I, I'm throwing my hands up. No, 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 no. <laughs> That's it. There you go. See, regular one. Nice to see you, Nancy. 
first time shaking hands, you're doing great. <laughs> <laughs> I don't trust you either. Uh, yeah, Nancy, where are you from? You had to think about that. Brooklyn, everybody! <laughs> Nancy from Brooklyn. Nancy, who are you here with? Oh, is it these guys? Hi. Oh, we, we should get a picture. Yeah, we should. It's your, oh, 15. Yay, congratulations. <laughs> oh, shit, you're so excited that I just said that to everybody. <laughs> uh, uh, so, is that uh, your husband? You're, you're married? To that guy? How long? How long? <laughs> hey, she's from Brooklyn. Leave her alone, all right? Yeah, I understand. I'm from Jersey myself, so I, I, I totally get it. Yeah, that's right. You're a good why We don't trust each other. <laughs> uh, it's gonna be fine, though. Okay. Uh, uh, so you've been married how long? Did you say? You don't know. How long? It's like, that's right. You've been to Florida before. You've been to Florida before. Yeah. You know. Okay. Well, we're gonna give you. I'm gonna give you all the parts you need for an expert to travel around Florida. All right. Put oh. your hands together like this. There you go, and then you guys can just, you guys hold hands. There you go. <laughs> and I'm gonna, this is, this would be like a Florida man. No, we're gonna put, it's like Ikea. I'm gonna give you the parts and you put it together. Oh, wow. Okay, okay here's, here's, here's a couple extra hands for your Florida man. That's, oh, that's yeah. three hands, four hands, five hands. Look at wow. that, that's a lot of fun on a Saturday night. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's a, you're, like, you're missing it. <laughs> and then we got a leg to stand up. Oh, did you leave this outside? What? Wow. Does that, does that smell like the Hudson River to you? Yeah. Oh, my really? <laughs> God. It does to me. Uh, tell you what, uh, what was your name again? I'm sorry, hon. Nancy. 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 I should have known. Yes. All right, Nancy. Why don't you bring Nancy, Nancy. over here right. and put her... Uh, just put all that stuff around that table where you I'll just get you a nice cold okay. butt out the fridge. Yeah, Nancy, just drop everything right there. Yeah, just yeah. drop everything. Ah! Are you kidding me? What the fuck is wrong with you? I don't know. You could have scared poor Nancy to death. Did you see that? You jumped all over the place. I am so sorry oh, he I did that, Nancy. Yeah. I am so sorry. No. That is, yeah, don't trust this guy. I am. Okay, he's from like Minnesota or something. What happened again? All right, go over there. Go over there. Sorry about that, Nancy. That part is over. Sorry. And you're just going to be my assistant, okay? I don't know. He picked you, man. <laughs> There's like, just pretend they're all in their underwear. <laughs> That's what I do all the time. <laughs> At the bank. <laughs> okay, well, uh, you stay there. You do the hard roll up your sleeve. Okay. Okay. You guys might be wondering where are all of these severed arms and legs and stuff like that you see from TV and movies. I'm going to show you where we get them right now. I just what? need no, the arm. No, 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 not, not my arm. Not my arm. Not my arm. Find somebody else. Nancy. Oh, Nancy. Come on. Come on. We're from the old country. I'm not going to cut you with this giant. That's all right, come on over here. Look at how trusting I am. Yeah, you can handle this. All right. Look at those veins. Yes. Wow. Look at this. That's a nice. That's nice. It's going to like get bounce of bullets off of that. <laughs> so, Nancy, I'm going to cut your arm off. It's going to hurt. It's going to hurt like a mother. Oh. But you are one, so you know. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, no, it's not going to hurt, but we want everybody to think it does. So when I when I rub the knife across your arm, just like you gotta scream like you're in a horror movie, all right? You know what? Let's practice real quick. Count to three. Give me your best horror movie scream, all right? One, two, three. That was the part. Of the I respect that. On the count of three, everybody scream. One, two, three. There we go. All right, we'll do it that way. Okay. All right. Here we go. The big cut. One, two, three. Oh wait, wait, hold on, hold on. But, uh, there are kids out in the audience. You want me to cut a kid? No, no, no. <laughs> yes. no. What? You should say something to them. Oh, 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 yeah. Talk to the five. Yeah, I better talk to the kids. All right, fine. Listen up, kids. <laughs> All the blades that you see up here or in TV and movies have been dull. Okay, they're dull, they're completely dull like this, or they're made out of plastic. So always know that they're dull or plastic, or dull and plastic, just like a Kardashian. So, uh, that's, that's a mixed reaction. That was a very mixed reaction, right? I mean, it was like, some people like, Whoa! the others are like, Whoa. It's like, are they in the house? I don't know. Anyway. So, seriously, though, uh, these gags are set up by professionals with loads of training, so don't try this at home. No, nah, try it at a friend's house, huh? <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, 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 no. Let me get close up. For realsies this time. Here we go. Everybody's going to help you out there, Nancy. Oh, you're fine. Uh, yeah, she's fine. Yeah. Yes. If anything, you're not helping. I'm 
Okay, come here. Big time hero, Wiggly. Where am I? Love it. On the count of three, everybody scream. One, two, three! Oh, yeah. Look at that. Like oh! Mark! Yeah. That's in Nancy's arm. Yeah. Is that supposed to happen? Yeah. Really? No. What do we do? Picture? Oh. <laughs> Nancy, does that hurt? Very much. Like, cut it off. That was No, that yeah, was beautiful. Exactly. I believed you. All right, on the count of three. One, two, three, boom! Yeah. Wow! That's it for Nancy! Yeah. Oh, yeah. She's awesome, man. Yeah, this is a... Uh, Great gag. It was developed by Tom Savini for the original night, of, uh, rather the original Dawn of the Dead. It's a, a dull blade, like we just talked about, right? It's also a retractable blade, so it gives the illusion if you're cutting along, cutting along, gives the illusion of breaking the skin with that bolt coming out. You got a bolt full of fake blood back there. It's the actor who really sells it, and as you can tell, Nancy's unharmed. I love Nancy. Let's have a Nancy. Now you can go. Whole time he's talking, she's like, "Can I go now?" Sit out. Uh, I'll see you back in the house. Yeah, that was good stuff, right? I think it was great. Uh, wow. Uh, now, a lot of people may not realize this, but Universal Studios is home to some of the most famous makeup artists in the world, right? Oh, heavens to Betsy, yes. Yeah? It's true, yeah. Universal is entering its 100th year of horror movies! Wow! Yeah! Yes! 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 The universe! Oh, man. It all started, it all goes way back to the 1920s and makeup pioneer! Lon Chaney, that's the man himself. Known as the man of a thousand faces, he's the guy responsible for the original Phantom of the Opera and the original Lunchback of Notre Dame. There he is. He was a devoted actor, suffered for his art. He put bleach in his eye to get that look. Oh, really? Not really, I made that up. But, <laughs> no, he did make, He did have a 40 pound rubber hump on his back, a leather harness that contorted his body. He couldn't even stand upright during filming. Unfortunately, we can only guess at how he achieved most of his transformations because he was very protective of his craft and he never shared his secrets with anyone. He took them with him to his grave. But the success of Phantom of the Opera in the 1930s kicked off this huge, hard craze in the 1930s that was spearheaded by the one and only Mr. Jack Pierce. This is the guy responsible for all the classic looks that you totally recognize, like the original Wolfman, the original Mummy, Bride of Frankenstein, uh, that guy in this yeah. girl, <laughs> Travis Kelsey. Yeah. Right. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, he worked day and night to perfect his craft as well. Uh, the monster makeup, the Frankenstein monster makeup, was a hefty combination of uh, mortar plaster, mortician wax, uh, toxic grease paint. Took four hours to apply. And it took twice as long to apply all the makeup and dirt and cloth to Boris Karloff's entire body for the original mummy. Oh, for about five minutes of screen time. Uh, that's a, those are classics, but Universal also created some crap tastics. Oh, uh, like, <laughs> oh, this guy. Wait, yes, the metal in a mutant from this island Earth. I love this guy. Hey, lady, no, don't run away. You get a free piercing with the pantsuit. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh, the industry revolutionized yet again in the 1960s when a guy named John Chambers started using something called foam latex on the original Planet of the Apes. The actors would show up early. Project and I have to sign papers and stuff, and you know I hate that. I know. I know. Oh, I'm sorry. I gotta step over oh, my broken trust. What? what? <laughs> no. That, 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 no. That, you said you weren't gonna. And I and I didn't. I was making sure everything was okay, and it's fine now. And you can get back. Well, what do you mean talking. everything was okay? Okay. okay. Wait. What happened? Something had hit the curtain. It's fine now. I checked on it. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. All right. Well, what happened? What happened? What hit the curtain? Uh, somebody threw something. Yeah, one of them out there, but it's fine now. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, yeah, yeah. What? Cigarette or something. What? <laughs> yeah, right. There. Well, who, who threw? Who threw the, the cigarette? Who threw? Who? Who? It's all right. You're my friend. That kid right there. <laughs> second row. Uh, the, the kid in the second row. The, the one's lady right there. Yeah, the one's like sitting there. Yeah. Yeah. With a big uh, smile. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, you were you were up there talking. That kid was like, "Man, this show's boring." <laughs> I want to I want to ride transformers or something. And, and she had she had the cigarette. I was telling you. She was, 
Like to write something. Yeah, that too. <laughs> Oh, you know what? I'm sorry. What? I can handle this. I know how to talk to kids. You don't have that. No, it's all good. It's all right. <laughs> yes. What's up, kid? Okay, let's start over. What's your name, kid? Hi. What's your name, kid? You have to check with your lawyer. What's up? She, she's been drinking already. See this? Hey, I'm not here to judge. No, I'm... Okay. Let's start again. Again. Hi, I'm Mark. What's your name? Gabriella, that's lovely, Gabriella. Where are you from? John Chambers ah, Play the Apes Playtex. No. There was Wait, what? No. What? No. <laughs> Caught that? No. Okay. Let, I'm talking about latex. You said latex. <laughs> I, I said I said latex. No, you put I, a little on there. Yeah, I put a latex. Like, no, yeah, that's yeah, different. Yeah. That's very different. Yeah, it is. Very different. Yeah. Yes. So, yes. Let's move on. <laughs> All right, a uh, video package of uh, how many people saw the most recent version of The Mummy? All five of us are here. <laughs> now, no, no, no. Uh, th this is a great example of uh, use of latex in film. It all, all of this starts in the, in the well, design process uh, where conceptual drawings are made. Sometimes you can draw on photographs. That's Sofia Patella played The Mummy in this version of the film. From those drawings, these sculpts are created, which in turn are used to create latex appliances. Oh, uh, which in this case had to be applied uh, one at a time, little hieroglyphics that had to be dozens of them applied one at a time. It took four hours just from the neck up. But since her whole body was going to be covered, they used a silicone appliance with an ink-infused glue to help replicate them all the way along. The final product was so breathtaking. Uh, I guess everybody fell down. <laughs> okay. um, highly caffeinated teams of work, uh, makeup artists worked day and night to turn her into this. Jenna Ortega. No, they, <laughs> <laughs> the mummy. Uh, and they had to repeat the process for years and years. Uh, well, felt like it. Uh, for not just her, but Lucy Pork, her stunt double in that picture, too. Oh. Wee, catch me. <laughs> uh, this, uh, this film uh, was designed in such a way as to try to connect every universal yeah. horror film. Uh, and as such, they went back to uh, the drawing board for all the designs for the originals. Yeah, you're talking about your your Pearson, your V. Neal, and Rick Baker. Oh yeah, those. Rick Baker. No, he's one of the worst Kevin Awards. More than anybody else. Yeah. If you if you don't know the name, you certainly know the work. You've seen one of these films before. Yeah. Uh, they're all the bigs he's won an Academy Award for at least. Uh, like, we can do the list. Men in Black, uh, Night Professor. Ah, uh, Ed Wood the Grinch, right? Yeah, Aaron the Hendersons. Okay. And he won his first Academy Award for this movie. Kids, what movie is this? E.T. Yep. Uh, how did his face change shape? Like, how do you do that with makeup? I love when you ask these questions. Yeah. Come on, I brought okay. some toys cool. for this. Yeah. Now, uh, the first stage of that transformation is, of course, after David Nottman yeah. appliance makeup, like we were just yeah. talking about. But to see it all on camera for the first time, because it was yeah. always done with lighting effects and stuff, they, he thought it outside the box and created something never used before called Chango Heads. We're lucky to have two of these from the original shoot. Uh, I know, right? It's a uh, fiberglass understructure based on an actor David Knox's yeah. body. Inside is a series of uh, pistons and ears and bladders. It's all run on pneumatics. Oh, uh, that's what air pressure, right? Right, okay. air pressure. Yeah. And then you cover that with the latex appliance, like we're talking about, face mask, and the stretching looks believable. And wow. because of all the close-ups, they use some really good stuff, like real dental appliances, yeah. a lot of glycerin around the eyes for wetness, and real human hair. What? A real human hair? Yeah. Oh, where do you get that? Florida. Really? Yeah. Kids from Florida. Oh, yes, you are! You know, it's amazing. Uh, uh, it's amazing that you volunteer twice on show. Uh, All right? Hey, Nancy, I'll tell you what. Because you're helping us out twice on one show, Universal Studios is going to give you and your family a three-day cruise. Brochure. Uh, saw that coming. Yeah. Didn't you? Oh, I've heard that song and dance before. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, yeah take it like a boss. Would you put that on her right hand? I can. Thank you, Nancy. Yes. It's good to see you again. <laughs> That's okay. That's what my mom said. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now I'm going to pop this on your head, Nancy. Just watch your hair there. All right. Uh, Nancy, you ever see a movie called The Green Mile? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's not important. <laughs> Oh, hey, you look like a Power Ranger. This is awesome. Yeah. All right, so actually what this is, uh, come on over here. Would you do, stand on my x one? God, that would be nice if you, somebody would stand on my x one. But I digress. Uh, this has got sensors on it, right? Uh, so you're going to be moving my character. Uh, it's a, yeah, yeah, like a puppeteer, like it's, but it's electrical. 
Uh, it'll make more sense when you see them. But these have sensors. You move, he will move. Well, can, I, can we show? Do we have a drum roll? Huh? Oh, okay. Ladies and gentlemen, my monster, the beautiful, the most contemptible, Eddie the Monster! Oh. Yeah, boo boo, they um, love you. Okay, hey, hey, Mark? Mark, Mark. Yeah. That's for a kid's show? Yeah. Really? Yeah, well, uh, it's for a movie. It's a sequel to the live action Door of the. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's called it Adios Diego. Oh. Uh, no spoilers. Oh. All right, so please do me the favor again. It's electrical, right? So I'll turn the power on. And when it goes on, you might feel just a little bit. But you're not going to remember. And no, no. And when you do wake up, and you will wake up, okay. that your pants might be a little wet. All Can right. we get a picture? Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Hi, smile. Oh, yeah. This is telemetry suit. This is how they move dinosaurs from off camera for Jurassic Park. All oh, right. You know? Uh, this is the technology. This is the. You can do some exercises. Let's do it. Let's do CrossFit. Boom. <laughs> Boom. Look at me. Everything you see. That's my. How you doing? I live in your bed. No, oh I know. God. That's ridiculous. I'm too big. I'm, I live in your closet. Too. Okay, here we go. Now we're going to do a little bow. That's where the head comes in. Well, just go like this. I'm doing what you should be doing. Are you looking at my butt right now? Yeah, yeah. See, he moves when you move. And then you come back up. And then you put your hand to your side. There you go. And I power the best off. And I turn off Eddie. And that's motion capture simply. That right is now. amazing yeah. stuff. Yeah. Wow, look at that, Mark. Yeah, you know, awesome. Nancy. That was awesome. Nancy, Nancy Drew solved oh. the mystery of the monster. Nancy, hold on. You were so helpful with us today. Thank you. Here's a picture of you and a gentleman hopefully you'll never, ever see again. All right? Yeah. I know. It's crazy. Let's hear it for Nancy. Nancy. Some of the butterbeer fudge, just one. Yep. Where is butterbeer fudge? All right, we're gonna try it. See how it is. That'll do it. We got the honeydew butterbeer fudge. Good. We got the butterbeer fudge here. There's nothing like butterbeer. The, the, the bottle. Oh, anyway. Got the fudge, it's six bucks. Just a fudge. Nothing like butter beer. Six bucks. Got the honey dudes. Front of the pink staircase. Broke that out. 
Okay, so the red coconut club is still the cursed coconut club. As you can see, you got the cemetery over here. And then you got the skull and cross the uh, the skeleton. In the hearse. Broke that out. 